They don't have any sympathy for Jake Gardner because they'll never have closure. We're hearing from James Skurlock's family tonight. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. And I'm Julie Cornell. Gardner took his own life Sunday, just days after a grand jury indicted him for manslaughter in Skurlock's death. KTV News Watch 7's Delon Diller joins us live with an interview you'll see only on 7. Delon? Yeah, the Skurlocks tell me Gardner knew he was guilty since day one. Tonight they say they're angry because he'll never be held accountable. It's like, are we supposed to feel bad? Because me personally, I don't. And I'm sorry, I have no condolences to give and never will. Zero sympathy coming from the Skurlock family. 48 hours after the man charged with the death of their loved one committed suicide. And to be that it was self-defense, then, you know, why were you so afraid to go to trial? Why were you so afraid for the public to see the truth and, you know, see who you really are? The family says they'll never have justice for James because Gardner will never have his day in court. I felt like there was lack of closure. You can't close a case. You can't, you can't orchestrate a murder and then take your life. Gardner's attorney says his client struggled with PTSD, but Skurlock's family says that's no excuse for killing James. A lot of people have trauma they are dealing with from the past. That does not mean it's okay. To go down there. You killed somebody. Since Gardner's death, the Skurlocks say they've received several threats from the public. To live with the fact that like people genuinely don't like us because somebody else killed our brother. We have to, every day, we, yeah. I, we have people in our face yeah. mad at us because somebody we bear, we don't even we don't even freaking know killed our brother and we're afraid and we live in Omaha and you got the chance to run away to go do something else. The family calls this a clear example of racial injustice. If my brother would have killed Jacob, my brother would have been arrested, charged and convicted waiting for sentencing by now. So the family also says Douglas County attorney Don Klein holds a lot of responsibility in all of this, telling me if Gartner was actually charged back in June, none of this would have actually happened. No word yet on what's next for the family. Reporting live, I'm Delon Dillard, KETV News Watch 7.